By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we open posts that probably contains old school magic cards. And look at this, I've got three envelopes. I think one is from the Netherlands, one is from España. Look, very cool postage. And actually, this came pretty quickly. This only took about a week to come from Spain, so I'm really happy with that. And we have a surprise mail. And it looks like it's from uh, Benjamin, or Ben German. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Let me know in the comments below if I'm doing it wrong. This is actually quite a surprise mail. I have no idea what is in this. Well, probably something related to magic, but I don't know what. I do know it's from the States, uh, Waterfront. So yeah, very excited to open this one up. I'm gonna leave this last, I think. And I'm just gonna start with the, the one from Spain because the one from Spain, I think I know what's in it. I am expecting some original mind bombs from the dark. So they should be in here. I think, personally, I think mind bomb is a very useful card in specific decks, I guess mainly the more aggressive decks, right? Because you want to play, oh, <clears throat> you want to play the Mind Bomb and then you kind of want to force your opponent to or take the damage or discard the cards. And I'll, if these are the Mind Bombs, I'll, I'll take a moment to, to read the card to you. They do see some play in old school, mainly blue suicide decks. Here we go, there we see it. it's a Mind Bomb. We've got some uh, Spanish advertisement here. It's making me thirsty, thirsty and hungry. The jamón. That's um, for people that have been to Spain. It's just amazing food. I was in the north of Spain. Was that last summer? And had a lot of pinchos. That's just beautiful, wonderful food. Um, and of course, cava. But we're getting a little bit off topic here. Here are the Mind Bombs. It is a full play set of Mind Bombs. And this is, I mean, it's such a sweet card. One blue, uh, absolutely crazy art, I agree. Mind Bomb, Sorcery from the Dark, art by Mark Tedden. And it reads, Mind Bomb does three damage to each player. All players may discard up to three cards of their choice from their hands. Each card a player discards in this manner prevents one damage to that player from Mind Bomb. So that basically means you can also use it to get rid of cards in your hand that you want to discard for whatever reason to maybe place an animate debt on them. But more importantly, the average player that you play this against is not going to choose to discard a card. I mean, one card prevents one damage. What would you rather have, a card in your hand or no card in your hand and no damage or a card in your hand and one damage? That, that choice is obvious, right? So when you play this early game, it kind of counts as a blue lightning bolt, you just do three to the face. And then if your whole deck is aggro, I mean, this de this card can be quite brutal actually, especially in a format where you also have access to Psionic Blast, which is another great direct damage card in blue. Anyway, this is a full play set. Let's place them here and then we're gonna go to this envelope. This is mailing from the Netherlands. Not quite sure what's in here actually. Ah, now I think I know because I recognize the packaging. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to show this first. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to show the cards yet, but um, this is a 4th edition Armageddon. I'm actually um, collecting 4th edition now as well. Just going to take this off camera for a second to try to open it because it's packed quite neatly. And you know what? I'm just going to cut it open. Uh, this actually came from... David, uh, David, or I should say David, um, David Groom from, he plays in the Netherlands, so that's where I know him from, and uh, he's a nice, very relaxed guy, here we see the other side, this is an earthquake, and this one is from Revised. Now, for the people that don't know, it's actually quite easy to spot the difference between Revised and 4th Edition. Let's see, let me... Oh, they're both in a squeeze together here. So, 
it's actually quite easy to tell the difference. First of all, of course, revised um, is a bit more, you could say shaded. I always kind of see it when I um, compare revised with, with fourth edition. So let's here go with the fourth edition card. I always kind of feel like, um, you know, fourth edition is more with a with a marker, and earthquake is more with like colored pencil. That's kind of how I compared it to. But if you're not sure, when you look at the the intense intensity of the color, and you're and you're not sure, you can always check the bottom line. And with fourth edition, you will see this bottom line here. So you will see the illustrator, and then you will see 1995 Wizards of the Coast, all rights reserved. That's something that you don't see in Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, or Revised. There you only see the artist. So in this case, Dan Frazier. As you can see, this is a beautiful earthquake. One red and X of sorcery does X damage to each. Um, let me just try to fix the camera here. To each non-flying creature in play. Very useful. And there is a beautiful flash fire. So these two cards are going into my revised collection. And this card is going the Armageddon, of course, classic one white and three to cast destroy all lands in play. This one's going into my fourth edition collection. Thank you very much, David, for these cards. They are going to get a good home. And then the surprise package from the States. I have no idea what's in here. So we're just gonna open it up. Cut it open. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, oh. oh, this is so sweet. I actually didn't expect this to arrive. This comes from the librarian of Lang, and he just made, oh yeah, you can actually, disciple of Lang. He, I mean, he makes the coolest altars, and I once responded uh, to one of his Twitter messages. And, you know, to my surprise, you know, he contacted me. We started talking about magic and, you know, his altars. And I said, it would be so great if you could send me an altar. And lo and behold, he's actually sent me, wow, it looks like a whole chunk of altars. Oh, yeah, this is one I saw. Look at this one. Juggernaut. No wool can stop the contact buzz of Druggernaut. This one. I mean, it's in Amsterdam now. It's in a good place. Wow. So I'll put I'll put the uh, the Twitter account of the librarian of Lang in the description below. It's definitely worth a visit if you enjoy altars and like he's got a unique, unique style. So let me try to bust this open. Wow. 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 It's so nice. Like you talk with people and, you know, they tell you, oh, man, I'll send you something. And you're like, well, that's great. But you don't really expect it. Right. And And. It's just so surprising. The the old school community continues to surprise me. I'm going to try to open this. You know, I think I need a knife again. So I'll be right back. Just getting a knife. I'm actually recording this this time in the living room. So I'm much closer to my kitchen utilities. As for the people interested, I'm living in an apartment in Amsterdam and it's with one of those open kitchens. You know where the kitchen is part of the living room? So, okay, there we go. And let's try this one. There we go. And I think there's actually a Timmy altar in here, or at least I hope you send that. I should probably go the other way before I cut off my finger. And, ah, there we go. That is sorted. So here we got the first one. Now, obviously, this is an altar on a juggernaut. Wow, these are these are full. Look at this one, juggernaut. Very cool. Really a unique style of making these. Ah, there we go. Protocol Sorcerer, MTG Underground. Occasionally, a member of the Lang Occult School forms lust for the world. Only a fool would risk turning him away at their door. Skeletons of Lang. I'm going to play this. Beautiful. Oh, look at this one. It's a German circle of protection red. Wow. 
with a Triskelion here. Very cool, very cool. And actually here, like, it looks like the Mark Tedden autograph, but it's different, so I would say it's team, doesn't it? Very cool, very cool alter. And, oh, Urk Raiders, look at the text. Wow, MTG Underground. It was the third day in the desert. There came up a caravan. No time, no time out. The most an exotic X. They sh sampled honey from a lang and now drift as disembodied heads in the void. Oh, well, look at those eyes. Really, 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 what a cool card. I, I have to take my time to really read this. I'm probably not reading it properly. I'm reading it through the camera. So I, I apologize uh, if it's hard to follow. So sorry, Librarian of Lang, but wow. This is unexpected. I actually was expecting one Protocol Sorcerer, but there are just a lot more altars in here. A Disenchant. Wow, drop out of enchantment. How cool is this? When he climbed onto the plateau of Lang, the astronaut found his holy land. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, wow. This is a chunk full of altars. Wow. The fact bong. One green. Get langed. You are one token from a journey through lands old and new. Ones that were, are, and may come to be by Stang. These, like, these are really unique, absolutely unique altars. Wow, Teleria. The caravan from Lang sold dreams and drugs to the Esprix mages wrecking havoc on the coast of Teleria. Wow, look at how he changed the colors here to purple, kind of pink. There's a moon there. Wow, this is really cool. This one I can I can play directly in one of my decks. Fantastic. And here we see a Satch Troll. Wow, from Revised it seems. Having forgot the lyrics on to the Dark Ritual, the troll opted to make soup instead. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh man. This is this is making my day. This is making my week. You gotta know it's it's pretty cold here now in Amsterdam and like gray weather and kind of like depressing wet depressing weather and this is really helping. Thank you, Librarian of Lang. This is just an amazing, amazing stack of altered cart carts you're sending my way. Beautiful. Stang, disciple of Lang. Fiercely loyal to Lang, the secret truth is that Stang sought the li library intent on stealing the drugs that he imagined were fueling the librarian, Lady Orca. I can kind of sense a theme here in his art. <laughs> oh, this is cool. With that silver pen terror, instant MTG underground, an instant MTG underground, librarian of Lang. Sweet. I mean, these are the altars, you know. I know nowadays they have all these special editions and foiling and all that BS, but this is this is how you alter a card. If you want to get an altered card, get an altered card. Don't get that pre-made nonsense, man. Oh, cool. A jaded Oyanen summon legend altered. Oh, wow. Wow, the Fallen Empire storage lamp there in the background. And he it's kind of like he's on the stage, isn't it? These are like the lights. Look at the hair. That is wicked, man. Welcome to the MTG Underground. Yeah, 5-5, five, five, rock it out. Woo! Amazing, and then we've got the last one. Oh, we got a mind twist. Oh, man, Pe people who followed, and look at it with alpha corners, people who follow the channel kind of know I'm not the biggest fan of the mind twist, right? And, and with that being said, I also play it in some games and I am not for um, banning any card. So I think the restriction is fine. I'm just saying it, it can be a tough card to play against. Um, when the senses are starved, when one can only look inward, the mind is a con con oh a contortionist. The mind is a contortionist. 
Wow, that is a tongue twister. Rayman. <laughs> oh, Rackman, of course. Probably Rackman, right? I apologize, uh, Librarian of Lang, if I'm making a complete mess of your quotes. I'm definitely going to take my time to look at them further. Um, for now, I would like to thank everybody for watching. And of course, a very special thank you to the Librarian of Lang for sending all these amazing cards over. And um, also a special thanks to David, by the way. You know, David, thank you for, for sending these and for kind of helping me, you know, reaching my goal. Uh, but wow, wow. Just amazing, 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 amazing. Beautiful. We should definitely make this the, uh, the thumbnail for the video. Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching. So thank you very much for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. If you want to help the channel out, you can do that by uh, leaving a like, subscribing to the channel if you're not a sub yet, leaving a comment about these beautiful altars, all that helps. Remember, I'll put a Twitter link to the Librarian of Lang in the description below so you can visit his Twitter feed. It's definitely worth it. Um, you can also uh, become a patron of Timmy Talks now by joining us on Patreon. There's probably a pop-up link appearing right now on the screen. You can click on that link and that will take you straight to Timmy's Patreon page. We've got Discord, we've got some tour demands, some quizzes from time to time. It's just a fun community. And uh, if you want to, you can become a part of that and at the same time supporting the movies that I make and uh, basically the Timmy Talks YouTube channel. Um, talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als ik het als somber gezien.